Selectors are a powerful tool in Kumu. They allow you to select multiple items within your project based on the information stored in their fields. There are a lot of different kinds of selectors, but in this video we'll just focus on one kind, the traversal. Traversals are one of the more complex kinds, so if you're not familiar with basic selectors yet, it would definitely help to watch our first general video on selectors, and you can find that video's link in the description. So traversals allow you to select elements based on the structure of your map. More specifically, with a traversal selector, you can select elements based on which other elements they share connections with, which direction those connections are pointing, and what information is stored in those connections fields. Let's use this network map to show how traversals work. Just to quickly explain, we borrowed the data on this map from a project called StuMap, which is an effort in the United States to map relationships between organizations working on environmental stewardship. Every circle on this map represents an organization, and every line represents a relationship between two organizations. To get started, we're gonna use the search bar to select the Irvine Nature Center, and then we'll use the focus feature to show only the organizations that are one degree away. Notice that some of these organizations are connected to the Irvine Nature Center, some of them are connected from it, and some have connections going both ways. Imagine that we wanna select any element connected from the central element. We can use a traversal to do that. Up here in the search bar, we'll put an equal sign, which allows us to type a selector instead of a normal search term. After the equal sign, we'll type out the traversal syntax, which is two element selectors with what we call a traversal arrow between them. So the first element selector is just element, since we want any element connected to the central element. There are a few different options for the traversal arrow, but the one we're looking for right now is dash dash angle right, which means connected to. And finally, we want to type a selector for that central element, which is Irvine Nature Center. There's a shorthand way to do this, but I'm going to do the long version just to be clear. Element, square bracket, label, equals, Irvine Nature Center, and close square bracket. And I'll copy this one too, just so I can use it again later. Just to review, we have an element selector, a traversal arrow, and another element selector. Now I'll press enter. See how the red selection rings appeared around these elements? That tells us that they've been selected, which is exactly what we wanted, because they're all connected to the Irvine Nature Center. Let's try the other way around, connected from. We'll type element, then angle left, dash dash, which is the arrow for connected from, then we'll paste in that selector for the Irvine Nature Center. Hit enter and you can see that the selection circles have moved. They're now telling us that we've selected everything connected from the Irvine Nature Center, exactly what we wanted. We'll try once more, selecting everything to or from this time. Element, then angle left, dash dash, angle right. That's the traversal arrow for connected to or from and then we'll paste in that selector for the Irvine Nature Center and hit enter on our keyboard. And you can see that all the connected elements now have those red selector rings around them, uh, which makes sense because all of them are either connected to or connected from the Irvine Nature Center. In this video, we covered the basics of traversals, but if you wanna learn more, you can go to docs.kumu.io and search traversal.